Hey guys, this is Emily Rose, straight to you from my home studio here in Engadine, Sydney, Australia. I don't know about you, but I've been spending a lot of time at home lately, and I've been spending some time getting reacquainted with my first love, my beautiful Shiguru Kawai piano. Uh, and I've also been getting acquainted for the very first time with things like Ableton, sound and video recording and editing, studio lighting, and all the wonderful things that go along with that like not having enough storage on my hard drive. Who knew that two terabytes was actually so small? Uh, in any case, I'm gonna be using these newfound skills to make videos for you, no matter where you are in the world. So, what am I gonna do first? Okay, so I'm going to do a brief little tutorial on modes today. This video goes out to my good friend Abby Constable, who is an awesome drummer and bandmate. And we've been doing a little bit of swapping with sort of harmony and, and drumming knowledge. So um, this one's for you, Abby. Okay, so modes is kind of like another way of saying types of scales or just a set of notes that we might use to develop uh, melodic and harmonic material. That sounds kind of complex, perhaps, but it's literally just for these particular ones, seven notes and seven different notes and they relate to each other uh, in a different kind of way for each change of mode. You might like to think of them like different landscapes, slightly different colors. Um, and I'm just gonna go through some of the main ones uh, and I'm gonna, gonna do them in a way that I wasn't taught. I was taught um, all from a starting point of C major, a uh, scale C major, and and then said the second one, you know, is starting from a D and using all the white notes on the piano. The third one starts from an E and uses all the white notes on the piano. And so it got a bit confusing for me because I was always relating it back to, oh, what number do I start on from a major scale? rather than really examining the characteristics inside the mode. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start with a mode called Lydian. I really like this mode uh, and I'm going to assume that people watching know what an interval is um, and I'm also going to be elaborating on these as I go. Uh, and if anybody ever has any questions or anything or wants me to make some more videos, um, you can always send me a message um, or comment on this one. I'd love to elaborate on things. Okay, so back to the Lydian mode. Lydian is a major mode, so it has a major kind of sound to it. Uh, some people would describe it as a kind of happy sound, but what really characterizes it is the sharp four. Okay, so I'm just gonna play all the way through the Lydian. I'm gonna start everything from C, so you can see which notes I change each time. Okay, so there we had C to D, that's a tone, to E, that's also a whole tone. There's what we call the sharpened fourth degree. That was a whole tone. Then we've got a semitone to a perfect fifth. Another whole tone to your major sixth. Another whole tone. And then if we finish it off, it's a semitone step to the top. Okay, so that was Lydian from C. Now I'm gonna change one thing. I'm gonna take away what we call the sharp four and it's going to become the Ionian mode, otherwise known as a major scale. So there our seven notes are C to D, a tone, 
to E, another tone. To F, so this time a semitone, so that's what we call a perfect fourth from our bottom note or our tonic note. Then a tone to G, a tone to A, a tone to B, and if we finish it off, semitone at the top. So the major scale is really quite well known in Western music. Uh, it's probably the most familiar to a lot of people. I'm going to change one thing now, and that is note number seven. And I'm going to make a, a flat seven, otherwise known as a minor seventh degree. So there we have C to D, a tone, to E, a tone, to F, a semitone, to G, a tone, to A, another tone, to B flat, that's a semitone there, and if we finish it off, a whole tone to the top. And that's what we call the Mixolydian mode. Okay, next I'm going to change one thing, and it's going to be the third note. I'm going to flatten the third note and make it into a flat three, otherwise known as a minor third. So this is the Dorian mode, so we've got C to D, that's a tone, to E flat, that's a semitone, to F, that's a tone, to G, that's a tone, to A, that's a tone, to B flat, that's a semitone, and if we finish it off with a C again at the top, a whole tone. So you can hear that starts to have a minor quality to it because of the minor third, so it's slightly more melancholic. But what I really like about the Dorian mode is the major sixth. So for the next scale, I'm actually going to change that major sixth and lower it. So it's going to be a semitone lower, therefore a flattened sixth or a minor sixth. And this is what we call an Aeolian scale, otherwise known as natural minor. Some of you might have learnt this as natural minor, or some of you who have studied classical music before um, might know it as the descending part of a melodic minor scale. But if we're thinking about it just in terms of these mode names, it's Aeolian. Uh, and it's also probably the closest to your harmonic minor scale. So the difference there would be that I would sharpen the seventh degree. Okay, but back to our modes. We were up to Aeolian 
Uh, and the things that were characterizing that was the minor third, just like Dorian, uh, the minor seventh, and also a minor sixth. Minor third, minor seventh, minor sixth. Okay, so the next mode we're going to do is the Phrygian mode. And I'm going to change one note again, and it's going to be the second degree. So D is going to become D flat. So we have a semitone straight away, a tone, a tone, a tone, a semitone, a tone, and if we finish it off, a tone at the top. So this is really characterized by that flattened second degree or minor second if you want to call it that. The other scale that uses that flattened second degree as well is the Locrian. But the difference is, is that right now I'm going to change the fifth of the scale. So that scale that I just played has a nice perfect fifth sound. But if I flatten the fifth, it's going to become a tritone from the bottom. And this is called the Locrian mode. So we have semitone, whole tone, whole tone, semitone, whole tone, whole tone, and a whole tone if we finish it off. Okay, so a quick recap from the beginning. I started with Lydian. It's a major mode with a major third and a major seventh and a major sixth and a major second. It also has a perfect fifth. What characterizes it quite strongly is this sharp four. We have Ionian, otherwise known as major. We got rid of the sharp four so that we have major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, and major seventh. Then we have Mixolydian. So we have all the same notes, but we change the major seventh to a minor seventh. Then we have Dorian. That's when I changed my major third to a minor third. So we have major second, minor third, Perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, and a minor seventh. Then I changed my major sixth to a minor sixth. So major second, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth minor sixth, minor seventh. That is Aeolian. Next, I change my major second to a minor second, a semitone to start with, 
And that is our Phrygian mode. Remember that one still has a perfect fifth. And last but not least, I change my perfect fifth to a flattened fifth. So I have a tritone from my tonic note. And I have the Locrian mode. Okay, so I hope that helped a little bit uh, to my friend Abby and also to all my students who are actually learning quite a lot about modes at the moment. Uh, I'm going to make some more videos on modes. Uh, they're going to be uh, available to all my patrons for my Patreon page uh, and you can check that out at patreon.com uh, forward slash music by Emily Rose and I hope to keep update with everybody uh, please if you want you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also check me out on my website musicbyemilyrose.com.au also I've got Facebook and Instagram. It's all music by Emily Rose, so I'm sure you'll know where to find me. Hi, and welcome to my world.